good afternoon. Welcome to my daily talk. Um, start with the topic, yes. Number 425, in fact, episode 425. Um, dating, remember how it used to be? I want to dig this up a little bit and have some fun with this. Before I get to that, let me introduce myself. Um, I'll sit each my nose. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a, I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I love my work. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And today's episode of Messages for the Masculine, I should say, Message for the Masculine is my daily talks. Let me change that again. Messages for the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart. That's the second part I didn't bring in. Is my daily homage, 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 <laughs> homage to the feminine and to women in general. And I do these talks every day, and this is number 425, so I've done this for over a year now, quite a ways over a year. Um, and today's topic is dating. Remember how it used to be. And I just realized I didn't leave my computer. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> maybe some dings in the background since I didn't get to that. So the topic today is dating how it used to be. Or do you remember how it used to be? And I want to speak to this a little bit because I did a talk yesterday, um, number 424, that was about why working with me is a lot better than the dating apps and such. And I started thinking about how we've become a culture that is, well, it's a nice way of putting it. This may take some work to put it in a nice frame because of so many, so many ways of saying this that are coming up right now. I'm like, this wouldn't be so good. We're a convenience-driven society nowadays. And things like dating have become very convenient. Literally, what you have to do is swipe on a screen on, your, on the palm of your hand and you could have a date. It's insanely simple and convenient, but it's not how it used to be. And so what we do now, I think, has a lot to learn from what we used to do, and only get into what we used to do to give us a framework. But it's so, and, I'm, and I, let me be clear, I'm speaking at one extreme, which is what's happening right now. Because when you're on Tinder or some other app and you tap on somebody's, tap on somebody, um, or swipe somebody's profile, you started the initiation for a relationship, or for dating at least, or getting to meet somebody. And then it just takes a couple of texts and it's like, meet you this time, meet this place, and you're on. That's not how it used to be. Now, what I'm speaking to is the old, old, I feel so I'm going to say that. <laughs> the paradigm that we have bypassed in a way. Just seen a Oh, dating is like fast food drive through Yeah, exactly, it is like that. So let me speak to what it used to be like when it wasn't a drive through and, and how perhaps we can change things. Because it's been on my mind a bit since, say, since yesterday's broadcast about how truly, how valuable getting guidance, getting support and working through your stuff rather than just dating somebody new, somebody new, somebody new every single day can be beneficial to do it that way rather than just the you know repeat cycle of fast food. So... I was say in the olden days, in a bygone era, <laughs> the, the old paradigm, <clears throat> the old paradigm of relationships, which I didn't realize how much it transitioned over the last twenty years or so. It wasn't that long ago we were still doing this. A lot of times, well, let's let's just back, go back to first dates, like early dates, before like around around the time of prom for the American audience. Um, we did proms in England, not when I was a kid, anyway where the young suitor, the man who was out to take out the girl, would go to the girl's house, uh, and maybe at this point he has a license so he can drive. And I'm talking about really you know, young days, when you're in your teens, basically. Maybe you could drive, maybe you couldn't. Maybe you get dropped, by, dropped off by your parent or picked up by your parent. How embarrassing was that when you go on your first date and you get to be driven over to your prospective date's house by your mum? I mean, for, for boys, that's challenging. So boy arrives at the house with perhaps a um, bouquet of flowers, or at least a rose or something, dressed in nice clothes, maybe a jacket and, and pants and sh slacks and shoes, not like torn jeans and flip-flops, which I've seen done before. Basically, not to impress her as much as to press, impress the parents, particularly the dad. So, boy shows up the house, rings the bell, got his, uh, what's the one looking for? He's all anxiety in his throat, so he's like, swallowing hard to try and get some decorum and the dad comes to the door 
And of course, the dad's job <laughs> is protecting his precious young child, the daughter, who's still five years old in his mind, even though she's 19 at this point. And so the boy's at the door, and the father comes to the door and says, I can, I can help you. It's like and the young boy's going to say, you know, I'm here to take out your daughter. And so he, he brings him, the father invites the son, the boy in. Sit down on the couch very uncomfortably, squirming in the seat. I've been there, I know what it felt like. And was basically um, cross-examined and interrogated by the father to make sure, one, that, he's get, that the, the boy's going to respect his daughter, and two, to scare so much crap out of him, he won't try anything with his daughter either. Succeeding in both of these things is pretty easy for the father because most boys are scared of their, their, their future prospect girlfriend's fathers. Kind of the way it works. And so the girl comes down, down, down the stairs or from out of the bedroom, wherever it was, in the back of the house, and the father's watching the son, watching the boy's reaction to how he responds to her because, frankly, frankly, <laughs> if he puts one, one glance out of place, the father will kick him out of the house. So... In this moment, there is this testing period, upon which then at this point the, girl, the, the boy presents the flowers to the girl and the father looks on disapprovingly. The mother may be all gushing over him because she's so happy because the father and mother usually have different roles in this. And at some point in time, the, the boy takes the girl out of the house very carefully and the father's like, bring her back by whatever the time is, like 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, some insanely like early hour. And like, don't, don't, you know, don't dare bring her back late or you're in trouble. And finally, once the kid, once the boy has to go outside the house, he's like, oh, that's a relief. But at the same time, he's still worried about the fact that he can feel, you know, the father's eyes boring in the back of his head. Like, don't mess around. So the first date, first of all, and I'm talking about younger age, of course, because nowadays 18 year olds have the smartphones and again, swiping is a different experience. But back then there was a training that was happening. A training meaning that the boy was learning, first of all, to be aware that the, the girl he's dating has parents. It sounds simplistic, but it's a big part of that. Secondly, he's also become aware of how to respect a girl because the father drummed it into him very clearly and not too subtly either, so that his way of being with her is respectful. We've lost that a long time ago. Thirdly, he also kept agreements because he knew that to respect and, and to give a chance to go out with her again, he must bring her back by a certain time so that her father was okay. If he brought her back late, the chance to get a second date would be slim to none. So he learned about keeping agreements, which I talked about a couple of days ago. And he also learned, learned about how to treat a woman in a way that was respectful, but also... Um, what's all looking for? With dignity. Well, same, same thing in a way. So let me just go back. So one was about knowing, kid, knowing she has parents. Secondly was about um, respecting her. Third was about keeping agreements so being back on time. It's a fourth one. It's a different one. It hasn't come through yet, but it will come through. So the training that he got carried forward to future relationships. Now, fast forward 10 years, fast forward 5 years, five, fast forward 15 years. Some of that training is still inside him, that he treats women differently because of the fact he got trained very young. And I think it's missing, something that's missing. Hi, Michelle, I see you too. Saw you earlier on the, on the Zoom call. Um, oh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube or you listen to this on my podcast, you're wondering who I'm talking to, this originally was a Facebook Live. And if you're watching it live, you're interacting with me right now, which is great. If you're watching the replay, you can comment afterwards and respond. But if you're watching it on other platforms, you won't see the comments, which is why I'm responding to people who you can't see. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. So anyway, back to, back to the topic at hand. So, modern men, I strongly suspect to a large degree, have failed to learn the rules or the, or such a harsh word, the principles, that's a better word, of how to treat a woman. Because they weren't necessarily put through that trial by fire with the parents. So that old paradigm, the way it used to be, as I was putting it so romantically, was actually for me, I think, a very powerful place to learn how to go out with a girl. Woman, how you want to describe that. Ladies, from your side of the, the conversation, you knew you had the protection of your parents, which made you feel safer, because you knew that he wouldn't try anything, otherwise it would get back to the parents. 
that made you more comfortable as well, I strongly suspect. At the same time, you also knew that a man would take care of himself to be at, go out with you. That's gone out the window a lot too. So I believe the old paradigm of dating, particularly with the early dating experience most people had in their teens, late teens, with parents, was a great model that has been lost in modern days. And I'm not saying we need to go back to that. However, what I would say, based on the things I mentioned, the lessons that he learned on the dating, those three things, absolutely needs to be brought, into, brought to bear nowadays. So here's my, my um, thoughts. Signs which way to go, men or women or first this one. Ladies. Yes, yeah, ladies first. Of course, ladies first. Duh, should have thought of that. When you're on the dating apps, some guy chases you down again, and, and I've talked about this one before as well, about ladies, you get to decide. You don't do the selection, though. Men do the, men are supposed to do the seeking, searching, pursuing. You get to say no or yes, as you choose. So in the, in the context of the polite way of doing it, a man finds you on some dating app, swipes, clicks, whatever it is, starts a conversation, asks you out. Remember that in the old days, that he had to come to you with respect. The way he dressed, the way he presented himself, the timing that he kept with you to keep you honored, and also the level of um, politeness he kept with you, especially on the first date. It's a piece that's missing, and you can invite it back as ladies, you can demand it back in fact. If the guy doesn't step up to that mark, doesn't even do that much, regardless about what car he drives and whether he pays for anything, these things should be fundamental before you can get to that point. So that's one thing. Second thing, for men watching this, act as if you picked her up from her parents, that you had that talk with the dad, that you realize that she deserves, requires, and is, is imperative that she gets your respect, that she gets your manners, gets your politeness, gets your, your um, gentlemanly conduct and masculine heart. There we go. Let's play with those. Because for many women, they're yearning for this. And gentlemen, this is one of the secrets, by the way, of getting to get what you want in a love and a relationship, is to bring these gifts to bear with your woman, with a woman you're dating. And I'm not saying she'll be putting in your hands, but she'll be a lot more appreciative of who you are. And that is a way to win a woman in wooing her, if you want to use that term, by showing respect, compassion, caring, gentlemanly conduct, masculine presence, all these different things they talked about. But it starts with those old ideas. And even though we're in the modern era, modern era, <laughs> that term sounds so weird. We're in the smartphone era, let's put it that way. We're now in the smartphone app era where you can tap, swipe, do whatever you want to do for dating. Don't forget that's where we started. Don't forget that we actually have a set of principles, not rules, principles of how dating can be a respectful process. How meeting somebody and getting to know them or wanting to go out with them and eventually coming in a relationship with them is a path that comes from a place of respect, of appreciation, of dignity. Because it's time we got back to that. If you're not getting that in your life and you're getting men that don't respect you, we need to talk. Um, the work I do is so much about women owning and honoring their own self and their own space so they don't settle for less than they deserve. It's almost sometimes more important than anything else because for so many women out there, they've been hurt by past relationships. They've been disrespected too much by men who did not care about who they were, did not give them the dignity they deserved, that they've gotten used to it. And that's unfortunate. So my invitation, my suggestion to you is to reach out to me. I'll give you that information on how to get to that. Um, as I mentioned, this is my daily Facebook Live that does end up on YouTube and also under my podcast. I'll give you the links to that in a second as well. But I'll make sure that I just give you the piece that is com to complete this, which is... Okay, this one comes up. Ladies. I'm going to say it this way, then I'm going to explain it a bit because I don't want to make it sound too um, confrontive. But ladies. Men will only respect you to the level you respect yourself. It's also vice versa for men as well. That the women respect us and only to the level we respect ourselves. So it's true on both sides. But the reality is, is that so many people forget that. 
and think that the other person should respect them even though they don't respect themselves. So your homework, <laughs> gonna give homework, is start looking at where you don't respect yourself. I did a Facebook Live two, day, um, two days ago about broken agreements, about how, how broken agreements is a, um, what do I call it? Oh, but I think I said broken agreements is fatal. That was number 423. Watch that, please. That broke us two days ago. By keeping agreements with yourself, by keeping your own, sorry, I'm back up. That um, honoring of yourself, respecting of yourself comes from keeping your agreements. So I talked about two days ago, we'll give you homework to help you get there. So your focus now is on how to respect yourself because that self-respect is what will generate the response out in the world. And if you want that in the world, start inside, always start inside. That's one of the biggest secrets of my work is that all the work really is inside. So speaking of that, this stuff is challenging for you and you want to get some help to really get your life cleared up to attract what you really want. Do yourself a favor and find out how, to, how I can help you and find out what you can do to change your life. Go to my website, which is barryselby.com, my name.com, my name.com, sounds funny saying that. Left hand side of the, of the menu is a button that says let's chat. Click on that, schedule a time, fill out the information and sign up. It will be the best choice you've made to find out how to have more love in your life, to attract the love you want and to attract an amazing relationship, my gift to you. Yes, I may offer you what I do, my coaching, but nothing's forced. You get to check it out. If you like it, great. If you don't, it's fine too. Because I'm also looking for clients who want to work with me, not just anybody. I've only got room for three new clients at the moment, and frankly, um, you may not be one of them. <laughs> just being polite. So reach out to me. Let's, let's talk and see who we are. Second thing is about these broadcasts. This is my daily Facebook Live, as I mentioned, number 425. Um, it is on my business page afterwards. On my business page on Facebook is Barry Selby author. It also gets shown up on YouTube under the channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is Messages for the Masculine, and also eventually, just to put a few up more today, on my podcast on iTunes, which is Messages for the Masculine. So search there and find it and subscribe. Again, if you have any questions, comments, please put them below. I'll respond and sign off. If you want help, you got the link to my website to sign up. You can check out my website, and see what I offer there. I have a bunch of good programs and, and coaching that may assist you. My website again is barryselby.com. And I'd like, to, I'd like to know what you think about this. What do you believe about respect, about dating, about the old model versus the new model, or I should say the old model versus the new paradigm, for a better way of putting it? And how do you choose to respect yourself more in the future? I think that's it. Thanks for watching my broadcast as always. I'll see you again tomorrow at number 426. We'll see what that's going to be. Um, thanks for joining me as always. I'll see you again tomorrow. You've got some ideas for homework. I'll give you those. You know where to find me and you know where my broadcasts are. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again tomorrow.